Welcome to this week's Wellness Wednesday video. I am Paya Fitzgerald, your wellness tactician. And I am here with Wow Factor in partnership with Columbus City Schools Staff Wellness Initiative. All right, this is the last of the polarities. Our final set today is play over perfectionism. Ooh, we. So when you're moving from a place of strength, operating above the line, you're in a place of play. Conversely, when you're moving from a place of struggle, operating below the line, you are operating with perfectionism. All right, let's see how this works. You know, you may say, oh, I struggle with perfection. I am a recovering perfectionist, so I get this one all too well, but I also love to play. And please don't dismiss play. In fact, you know who should be playing more? Adults. And who should be playing even more? people in education. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about this. When you're in a state of play, especially as a leader, you are allowing yourself, uh, again, it's an expansive space. You are allowing yourself to uh, be in a place of growth and opportunity. It puts you in a place of freedom, okay? You're free. So I would even suggest when you need to do uh, a heavy lifting assignment, maybe you actually stop for a second, go watch a comedy clip or go do some kind of game, but play so that you can take your brain off of it for a second, give it a little break, and then come back to the work, as opposed to if you're gonna just go straight into it because, you know, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done this way. It's gonna be depleting. And again, you're gonna be coming from a place of struggle, just trying to get something done. Playing will help you get the work done faster, will help you get the work done with ease, okay? Perfectionism is not admirable. Really? It's shame-based. When you move from a place of perfectionism, you are focusing more on the fear of failure than the outcome that you're trying to achieve. You're focusing on what might not happen. And that's not a healthy way to uh, lead others, to lead yourself. It's just not a healthy way. And a lot of times this perfectionism is impacted by all these different cognitive distortions that we've acquired over time. All of these limiting beliefs that we've acquired over time. So it requires a lot of self-awareness, a lot of introspection uh, to make sure you're aware of if this perfectionism is driving you. But one thing you can do to begin to release yourself from that place is to move from a place of play. If you find yourself struggling with something, make jokes about it, seriously. It's counterintuitive but it does something in the brain. There's going to be a shift. If you take your mind off of it, go into a state of play, you'll be surprised of what that will allow the brain to do to come up with the solution that you're actually looking for. It's a way of reframing things, okay? It's a way of reframing things, and it's a way of taking your power back. All right, folks, go ahead and try it. You know what, in fact, this week, I want you to take three days, not just one, not just two, three days, be intentional about playing, infusing play into your workday, infusing play with your team. Just keep it light and simple because play looks good on you. All right, thank you for watching all of these videos. I just wanna take a moment and recap so that you have the whole framework for what it means to lead from a position of strength instead of struggle, leading from a place of above the line as opposed to below the line. We have curiosity over criticism, love over fear, rest over self-efforting, trust over doubt, forgiveness over unforgiveness, and play over perfectionism. As a leader, what you might do immediately, how you can use this is when you find yourself in a, a tense situation or you have to make a decision, ask yourself, go through the checklist. By the way, you can download the checklist on our website, but go through the checklist. Am I operating from above the line or am I operating from below the line? Because the best decisions for you emotionally, for your team, come from above the line, period, okay? Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video. Bye-bye.